extra <laughs> on Espero estén muy, muy bien. Bienvenidos a otro jueves de Nick en casa. ¿Cómo se le están pasando? Yo estoy muy, muy emocionada. Tenemos unos invitados muy especiales. Yo, la verdad, voy, voy a empezar a decirles que yo soy muy fan de ellos porque obviamente crecí con ellos y es increíble poder estar aquí con ellos. Eso es un honor. Entonces, bueno, el día de hoy tenemos unos invitados de lujo. Entre ellos tenemos, bueno, antes que nada... Eh, um, los voy a presentar en inglés, porque no todos por aquí hablan español. Entonces, eh, oh, eh, vamos, vamos a empezar. Perdón, estoy, estoy nervioso, estoy emocionada más que nada. Entonces, vamos a presentarlos. So, we are very excited to announce that today we have over here a person that stole over our hearts with our favorite boy band of all time, Kendall. Uh, Kendall Smith, how are you? It's very nice to have you over here. I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm happy to join you. Me too. I, I need to tell you that I, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Are you really? Are you just saying that? Yeah, or? of course okay. I am. I mean, uh, you, when, when I was younger, I used to play with my cousins that we were like your girlfriends and stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm excited today. Um, so uh, how, how have you been spending these days on your home or what have you been doing? Um, so for the first maybe month or two or three, honestly, I kind of lose count. I was in LA and I was working a lot on music. And then uh, my girlfriend and I decided to take a road trip. So we got a rooftop tent on our car and we drove across the country and ended up where she's from in Vermont. And then when we got here, it was only going to be a week. And then we decided just to stay indefinitely. So <laughs> I guess until I really need to get back to LA, I guess I'll just be in Vermont. Nice, that, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. So, um, I also wanted to present you uh, another uh, special guest that we have today over here. So, please say hi to Lilimar. Lilimar, how are you? I'm very excited. You gave life to an unforgettable character in Bella and the Bulldogs. Uh, so, can you tell us a little about yourself? How, how have you been doing on these days? Hi, Bella. Nice to meet you. Obviously, very cool. Um, I've been good. I mean, quarantine has been fun. I think at the beginning it was just very like, oh, I'm going to take this time to rest. I'm just going to sleep all day. I'm just going to be in my bed. I'll just, you know, redecorate my room. Now it's just kind of about, I think, trying to stay positive and like productive and I don't know, feeling like I have a reason to get up in the morning and have time management. I don't know. I kind of got back into the swing of time management again. So hopefully I won't swing off of that. How have you been? Very good, thank you. It's so nice to see you. I'm very happy to be here with you. And also, I need to uh, say uh, hi to uh, and to welcome another special guest. Uh, last but not least, we have here Daniela Nieves, uh, which I'm very happy to, to be talking to you. So how are you, Daniela? Hi, Vala. Nice to meet you. I'm good. I'm good. You know, just chilling in my apartment in quarantine. Not much, not much happening. Oh. <laughs> so for starting, I want to ask you some questions about your characters, about your experience with your shows. So uh, let's start. Are you ready? <laughs> uh, so let's start. First of all, I want to know if you guys already know, knew each other before this. Um, I knew Daniela, but I don't think I've met Kendall personally. I was gonna say that you guys need to tell me because I have a really terrible memory. So, um, so before before I said no and we had actually met before, I was gonna be like, I don't know. Have we? You were waiting for someone else to say something. Yeah. Like, oh. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. Now, I haven't met um, either of you, but um, it's a pleasure to e meet you. Yes. Likewise. Yeah. I actually. So now we're yeah, no. everybody's making friends right now. <laughs> they say yeah. that making friends at this moment it's a little hard, but look. <laughs> here, we are. Here, here we are. So uh, I have another question for you. And how long ago did your uh, respect technique shows ended? Go ahead, Lilimar. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I, Bell and the Bulldogs, I think, I think we finished in 2016. And my second show, Night Squad, we finished, I think, in about early 2018, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Daniela, what about you? Um, mine, both of mine ended in 2015. So, 
Yeah. Cool. And Kendall? 2013 or 14, something like that. Uh, yeah. And I how do you feel think, about that? Yeah. End of, I want to say end of or mid 2013, but I might be wrong. So don't quote me on that. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Yeah. So the sa uh, I, I have a doubt right now. Do you guys watch each other's shows? Like Lilimar, are you a rusher? Uh, I like how you specifically pointed me out. Like, how did you, how did you know? <laughs> Lilimar, are you a rusher? <laughs> I was. I won't lie. I totally was. I was totally buying the show when it first came out. I think I was still living in Miami. I remember when, like, BTR came out, and I was like, this show is pretty bomb. I like the, um, I never got to go to a show because but I was like, uh, but I was like, I love the song. So I was. <laughs> so, um, how was your first time attending to the KCA? Um, I think I remember wearing kind of like a prom dress type deal to the first KCA. <laughs> I mean, we were kind of unannounced. Bell and the Bulldogs was kind of like an approved pilot at the time. So we just kind of got to go and it was like, oh, you kind of get to be on the carpet. I was like, okay. So I got my best a uh, pink cocktail dress and just, you know, went, had a great time. Did anyone, else, did anyone else feel like they needed to wear like neon colors? Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think I did well, wear I think that, something that like bright. Yeah, bright. Yeah, I think I, color. yeah, I think I wore something like bright. I don't know. I remember I was like, what do I wear? And I was like, this outfit must be perfect. And now I look back, I'm like, girl, that, that outfit was not it. Yeah. No. Well, um, Kendall, what's the wackiest thing that ever, um, or gift that a fan has ever given to you? Wackiest? Um, well, because I remember some really cool ones and like something like, well, I get wacky might be like, uh, like a knitted doll of myself. <laughs> and like and really detailed super detailed well, that's pretty and cool, I actually, actually I still have yeah. it <laughs> um so I also have a question for Lilimar did you always wanted to be an entertainer I did I did I think when I was around four I was still uh back in Venezuela and my mom kind of noticed that I just had a lot of energy and I kept stealing her shoes and her clothes and then just kind of <laughs> switching it from room to room because I never would put it back where I got it from. And she would just be like, okay, you have a lot of energy. We're going we're gonna to do something about that. And so that's kind of when I started kind of like these random modeling classes back then. And I did modeling until I got to Miami, but in the modeling kind of school career center that I was at, they, were, they also offered like commercial classes, comedy, improvisation. That's where I took my first acting class. And I was like, oh, this is pretty great. I want to dedicate my entire life doing this. And that's the decision I took at nine. <laughs> so, um, Kendall, can you say something in Spanish? Let's see. I should be able to. Um, uh, how about, uh, que dia más estupendo? Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. I didn't expect that. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Yes, it truly is. And that's all I know. <laughs> that's a, that's a <laughs> well, great phrase. Useful, so. <laughs> so, um, Kendall, <laughs> this is another one. Uh, it's pretty weird, but a lot of fans have this question, and I want to know what you. Uh, well, I, I want to know your answer. So, how does James smell that? You know, like, what does James smell exactly? <laughs> that is a great question. <laughs> Um, you know, he, uh, so he's not typically the kind of guy, he doesn't bathe himself in, in cologne. Oh. He's, he's not like that. Um, so I thought you were going to say he doesn't bathe. No, he doesn't. So he doesn't bathe. Of course he bathes. Like he's yeah. not but, that um, guy. He, you yeah. know, some people, some people are just like, and all they smell like is whatever they wear all the time, the same cologne. Um, James, <laughs> here's what I know about him. He works out a lot. <laughs> right so he would either if depending on when you saw him he would either smell like he just got back from the gym or he would smell fresh and clean with like maybe a light uh a light scent you know all right <laughs> maybe a little maybe a little lotion maybe a little maybe a nice deodorant oh, right but i will say he doesn't have so for every he doesn't have an For every VCR fan that is watching he, uh, this, 
you have your response over there. <laughs> I think people have been waiting a long time for that. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have a game for you. Uh, who has the best memory? Let's see. Uh, so I have some questions for you and I want to see, well, of course, uh, from your respective shows. And I want to see who has the best memory of uh, everything that happened. So to all, do you remember the theme song from your show? Can you sing at least five seconds of it? We just want to hear the Big Time Rush song. Just <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's get out with it. Let's be honest. This is what we really want. <laughs> so, so you guys already did the uh, 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 uh -huh. yeah. right? So there's yeah. make it count, play it straight, don't look back, don't hesitate when you go big time. What you want, what you feel, never quit, make it real when you roll. Big time. There you go. Nope. Anybody else? Uh, so, Lily Mar Daniela? She's like, I'm gonna play like Friday night, kick it like one of the boys. She got it going, going. She got it going on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was nice. It had a rapper in it. It was pretty cool. Pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That rear twain was like, I cast a spell. It takes a hold of you. And then my dreams, and they all coming true. And then. It's a something, something, something else. A something every which way. Eh, 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 eh. I'm flying every which way. Eh, 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 eh. Every which way. And then it was like. Tsh, 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 tsh. I do remember no, that. I do. The funny thing is, I was actually an extra on, I think, the first episode of Every really? Which Way. Because really? my friend, yeah, because I was about to move out, but my friend told me, like, yo, they're doing like an episode of Every Which Way, like, do you want to just get some extra money and go to the beach? And I was like, yes, let's go to the beach. So we just Wait, went. you were in the beach scene? Did you ever do yeah. a scene with me? Because I'm like, I don't remember ever seeing you, but I remember seeing you at the 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 seven, at the little cafe. And yeah, I remember yeah. you coming to visit. And I was like, oh, hey, I remember that. But I don't remember you being an extra. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I, I think so that's cool. where I met Paris and stuff like that. And I was like, oh. Oh, this will be a good time. I think it was at a lake. It was total lie. Oh, it wasn't the beach. So cool. It was at a lake. something I didn't know either. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> cool. So uh, now I'm going to read the plot twist of a specific episode. Uh, and you have to say which show was it. So, first of all, the gang is locked down at a school during a tornado warning, so they threw a party using school supplies. I'll, I'll take that one. I think that was yeah. our tor torna <laughs> yeah, tornado, tornado Alfredo. Alfredo, yes. That was our tornado. Yeah. So, love Texas and tornadoes. <laughs> so, for the second one we have, a ghost tells the story of how a vampire, a zombie, Frankenstein-type monster, and a werewolf are turned into normals for one night only. The vampire is in love. Well, that was, um, <laughs> that was big time Halloween. Yeah. And it, that, it's funny because as you describe it like that, it makes it sound like it was like a Halloween version of Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Now I remember the plot line. That's pretty much what it was. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to tell you a dialogue that some of your characters said, and you have to tell me who said it. All right. Oh, so please. the first one is cowboy. I will take you down. Texas. I'll take that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Heck, heck of a way to break up, huh? I'll say it's probably it's probably me because of <laughs> yeah. the relationship with Joe on the show, but that's one I don't remember. <laughs> that's right, Kendall said it. All right, so man, we have officially entered telenovela territory. That was that was a Andy. That was yeah, a Andy. That was Andy. <laughs> That's right. So, I have some individual questions. So, the first one is to Kendall. Uh, can you name three special guests that appeared in Big Time Rush? The first one that sticks out is Snoop Dogg, because that was probably the most special. Nice. Yeah. Um, we also had, we had Tom Kinney, um, who uh, does the voice of SpongeBob, was on the show. 
Nice. Um, and he dressed up. He dressed up oh, like yeah. the pirate from SpongeBob and did a, a random thing on the show. <laughs> big time, big time beach party, the beach episode. And then we had like Nick family. We had Miranda Cosgrove. Um, and yeah, well, and those are three, but you can give Tanya. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then um, no, yeah, Mark, those, no, those are a few. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I. Um, I have them all over here and you were right. <laughs> you do remember well. So, um, Lilimar, how many brothers did Sophie de la Rosa have? Sophie had nine brothers. Yes, yeah. there were 10 of us. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nine. That, uh, well, imagine having nine brothers. <laughs> that would be crazy. Uh, I don't know about <laughs> all that. <I> just... <laughs> <laughs> and well, Daniela, what was Andy's real full name? Uh, Andrea Futura Doctora Cruz. That was Futura Doctora? Name. Future Doctor? Yeah, literally. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Andrea Future Doctor. That's, That's right. <laughs> oh, uh, this was really fun. Who won? Who, who do you think that won? I think everybody got them correctly. So. Yeah, 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 you know, I think we're all winners yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, it was a tough, it was a tough match. Uh, you know, it got a little scary there in the middle, but yeah. uh, I think we pulled it off. Well, I want to know each other more, and this is a question for all. Tell me another neat character that you would like to play. It can be live action or a cartoon, and tell me why. I would... Do I would play? Uh, I would play Arnold because now that you, <laughs> now that you mentioned about him being like ranked as a cool character, thinking about the show now, he was really cool and he was very, yeah. cool, you know. And I think that that was a cool. And I wouldn't want the football head, but <laughs> you know, it came you know maybe I'll head. give Hey Arnold another chance. You yeah. know, if you say he's really that cool, maybe I'll try again. Yeah. Okay. I think I have two people. Like modern, I would I, I really like Jade West on Victorious. I thought her character was very funny, yeah. kind of very edgy, and I really liked that. And then the second character, do y'all remember the pop star guy that was in Fairly Odd Parents, like talking about white white teeth? Yeah. My shiny teeth and me. Yes, I would love to be him. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Honestly, I feel like, yeah, first of all, I could so see you playing Jade from Victorious, by the way. Like, that's like literally like perfect. Um, but I think I would, I've always wanted to do, um, I've always wanted to like be a cartoon character. Like, that is something that I've always wanted to do. So I would definitely be like in some sort of like cartoon, probably fairly odd parents. And, um, yeah, I just don't know who I would be specifically. Maybe Vicky. Vicky had some fun. Oh, Vicky. Yeah, she was yeah. fun. Icky she was, like, Vicky. Super annoying. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Um, <laughs> or or it like some character. I don't know. Some sleeping. character that can like sing too, where I can like sing in the booth or something. I just feel like that would be. Wrong. <laughs> so Kendall, tell us about the first time that Russians recognized you on the street, and tell us the most funnest story about it. Uh, you know, I don't really remember the first time. Um, I guess, I guess we played a show. We played a, our first like concert um, outside of Vegas, and I didn't think anyone would know it because the show hadn't been on for that long. Um, but I do remember like a lot of fans in the audience like being noticeably excited, not just because there was just a show happening. It was like it, they were they knew who we were. And I yeah. remember being like, okay, this is great. And then after that, it's, you know, it started happening more and you could always kind of tell because um, people get, I think people, and I, I do the same thing. If I recognize somebody that I, I really like, I get weird, you know, <laughs> I start doing strange things. <laughs> but it's always like somebody is with, they're with a friend and then maybe they would recognize me and they, you see them like turn to their friend and they go, and then the friend goes, yes. Like yes, this, you know, and then it's like, okay, I, I think I know what's going on here, right? Yeah. Um, but I actually really love it because it's uh, it makes you 
it makes you feel happy that people care enough, you know, and that it makes them happy. I told me a word in Spanish that is impossible to translate in English because of its meaning. <laughs> oh boy. You got that's a tough question that's today. One. <laughs> that's a that's a fun I mean I one. cannot think of a word right now. <laughs> mm, I think Que uh, barbaro. I feel like I say that a lot. Like it's like, yeah. like it's, it's, I don't know how to say that in English. I don't know I don't even know if other countries say it as well, but I think that, that even, was quick. <laughs> yeah, because I was gonna say like I, I remember I that because I know I was thinking I was like I thought of tostones because like that's that's food but I'm just like I'm not gonna bring food in it so I thought of like I say that a lot it's like que barbaro is like yeah <laughs> it's just, like, it is hard to explain because like you can say it's one of those there's a lot of phrases in Spanish or a lot of words in Spanish that could mean a whole lot of things for a lot of different situations so it's like a, almost like a universal term in this one i would use it for example like my, my grandma uses it all the time because she loves to drive and so she's like driving around and like she's very skilled more skilled than i am and so someone like cut her off she was like que barbaro like she's like this guy <laughs> like this person or you know this guy this girl's like wow like you're wow you're great he was tubby he was tubby there's been a couple of well, things. Well, I, I got a puppy. I have a yeah. quarantine puppy. Aww. I know. I think you saw her kind of like attack me for a second. <laughs> so I have a quarantine puppy. So like I've become so like, I'm like, what new tricks to teach my dog? It's just like so <laughs> fun to try to communicate with this animal. Um, I've never had like my own dog. So that's been really fun. I've also gone camping, which... For the first time, I went camping during quarantine, you know, stay away from people, Ooh. be in nature. And it was so fun. And I was like, wow, I really need to do this more. Like, I need to do this all the time. I just love, I feel like the energy in, like, nature is just perfect. It just makes you feel good. It uplifts you. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting too, like, right now. But, um, I agree yeah. With you. So, I guess, like, camping and um training my dog i think me and my mom started doing like at home photo shoots so which is like kind of got nice. like we kind of set up um a whole kind of studio booth thing and stuff like that we really like taking pictures so then we just kind of play around with different stuff with lighting and then just try to make it as cool as possible and it kind of it, it they started looking like they're not at home anymore so it looks it looks pretty cool it's been nice and um I think the other thing is, yeah, like I said, I just, I started master class, which is pretty cool. So it's nice kind of getting, you know, advice from Natalie Portman and stuff like that. Like, I just, <laughs> I think it's really cool. I've just, I don't know. I eventually, you know, when I started working from home again, I was like, I want to make this fun. Like, I want to do all this stuff. So I was like, I want to learn new things. You know, when we come back into, it, I want to come back swinging. So I was like, you know what, mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to learn different stuff. I'm going to take a Gordon Ramsay class. I'm going to, I'm going to do stuff. I'm going to learn how to cook. I'm going to learn how to, yes. how to garden. I don't have a garden. I'm going to learn how to garden. <laughs> I just, I think my hobby has been trying to find fun things to do, learn new stuff, and especially just kind of grow on the That's amazing. Things. Kendall, what about you? Well, um, I have also been doing some camping. And nice. so that yeah. is definitely a new hobby, which I really, I really enjoy it. Um, but recently, since I've been, now I'm in Vermont and I've been here, um, it's been uh, a lot of paddle boarding, which is kind of Oh, cool. that's cool. Ooh. And I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a hobby because I don't really know how you advance through the hobby. You know, it's like, <laughs> you, you either learn how to paddle board or you don't, and then once you know how to do it, you kind of just paddle. Um, so I don't know if there's like steps to it. But um, that's been a lot of fun. It's, you know, like it's good for balance. Um, can you describe yourself in three words? Oh, God. This is so hard. I never know what to say to this. Yeah. Because you well, don't want to sound, I mean, I don't want to sound arrogant. Yeah, I don't want to like, say positive things funny. about myself. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I get you. You don't um, want to be negative about yourself. Exactly. You don't want to sound like you're too into yourself. Exactly. Correct. I think a good thing is like, imagine what like your best friends would use to describe you. Oh God. Like what would your best right. friends probably say? Oh geez. Um. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go off of what my friends have told me. Um, I think talkative, um, honest, <laughs> 
And uh, I kind of, I don't know. I think I'm going either two ways. Because the funny thing is I laugh at everything, literally. But <laughs> that's one thing. That's a good trait. But I think the other thing, like the raining, like the reoccurring thing is that my friends tell me like their first impression of me is like a different thing. Because it's almost like, you know, you're a Gemini, but you look like a Virgo or something like that. Or mm-hmm. some, oh, that's so, like funny. For me, they've told me I've looked intimidating but then but then you were nice but then you were nice and then I was like okay great cool 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 cool, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. but I think I'm gonna go with those three talkative honest and laughs at laughs a lot okay. and Kendall what about you so uh I would say thinking about it like that is how like a, like my friends would describe me um I ask a lot of questions <laughs> that's good uh, and I'm always <laughs> Like typically conversations with friends of mine start with me saying, hey, I read this article and and then I describe it and then they go, and then I tell them about it, right? So I, <laughs> I, <laughs> Ew, I do that too. What the yeah. heck? So you're very informative. You're I'm a very, curious. you know, informed. Informative. I like yeah, that. Curious. Um, so I'm always trying to figure stuff out. And mm. then uh, I, I don't know what, would be the word for similar what you're saying like always trying to i'm always trying to make people laugh and funny enough to a yeah. lot of people it comes off as sarcasm yeah, um, yeah but i'm not being sarcastic to be mean i'm being sarcastic to be funny yeah so like you were saying yeah like, people might think that you're like that you don't like them or something so i've gotten people being like i don't think he liked me you know he was really making a lot of jokes and yes People say, no, that's just what he does. He actually, if he didn't like you, he wouldn't be making jokes. Um, yeah, I'm the same way. I feel so maybe, that. <laughs> um, funny, but with a caveat of sarcastic. Um, and uh, I, I'll go with a cheesy one, I guess, caring. Let's move on to the third game in the last game, too. Love so uh, I, I'm, I'm starting to get sad that we, we're almost over with this, but this game is fun. So, okay, let's, let's play, let's play. I will read a situation and we all have to make the emoji face that uh, best represents each situation, all right? The emoji face. You ready? Okay. Yeah, the emoji phase of this represents the situation. So I'm going to re- read the first one. No, when you open a bag of chips and see how many chips it actually has. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Like, I feel like I'm searching for a phase of disappointment. I think you know? I would put, I would just put the, the skull face, like the dead. I was thinking dead of face. <laughs> I think I would like, use the one that like, has like this. Yeah, I would use the one that has like yeah. the straight line and then it has like the, the eyebrows like a. <laughs> kind of deal. Yeah, nice. I would use nice. the guy uh, with the or the girl. I don't know if emojis are guys or girls, but um, they're emojis. The one with the hourglass. <laughs> with the hourglass, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like really? All right. So the second one is when you open. Oh, oh, sorry. When your cell phone camera opens in selfie mode by accident. By accident. Yeah. I don't know. I'm looking for the ugliest emoji face I can. I was gonna. I was gonna hype myself up and put the queen emoji, but I could also put the clown emoji. It just depends. <laughs> yeah, the clown emoji, emoji good. really or depends on the day. Cowboy emoji. Uh, I'd put the one, that, <laughs> uh, the blushing one. That's like. Ah, uh, <laughs> cute, cute. <laughs> yeah. When the season of your favorite shows finishes with too much suspense, and I would put like the. Like the uh, things, you know? Yeah. Um, I, like I would put. Mm-hmm. Oh, go, go, go ahead, go ahead. I would put um this one, the one where he, the the head's like exploding or whatever. Uh, yeah, the mind blown one. Oh like yeah, atomic bomb. That That's one. a good one. I feel like I would mix shock with anger. So if I could have the <laughs> face but make it red. <laughs> yeah, new emoji. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so when your BFF publishes a story with someone that you don't like at all, <laughs> I'll put the red face, like the one that is mad. <laughs> I'd put in a little clown emoji. <laughs> I'd be like a clown. I'd be yeah, like, I'd be like, what really are my you friend, like, doing? Yeah. I would do this one. And I'm realizing, I'm like, how did, how did you guys, like pull it up on your phone (laughs) yes i just copied daniela i was like that's smart she's smart 
Well, <laughs> I was like, I'll do that, but then yeah. just, like someone random on texting. I would do this one. Nice. Oh, nice. You're even smarter. You put yeah, it. Yeah, because you really got it big. There I you go. Get to do that. <laughs> It was all, it started with you guys. It was all you. All you, Danny. Thank you. So I'll probably put this one too. I don't know if you see it, but it's like the one. <laughs> We're like, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would feel I like sad it. that my best friend is hanging out with somebody that I don't like, to be honest. Oh, the crying emoji. Okay. And, uh, well, when somebody tells you, you won't believe what I just found out. And I'll tell you later. Oh, I like that would be like a mixture of two that I like. And that first one, I would probably be like, I think, again, it's a mixture because it's like I would use the one that has like the eyebrow up that, you know, has like, you know, that face of like, you know, like the eyebrow up like, hmm, but mm -hmm. the face itself would be like, like excited like huh you know i think mean, i would make those two <laughs> and then when they say i'll tell I you like later that. Uh, well, then, uh, for everybody that creates the emoji faces they probably need to listen to you <laughs> the yeah. saying you know it's, it's faces are very complex mm -hmm. and I, I think i would i would go with this one just because i'd be like <laughs> girl tell me now yeah so, um I feel like I do. Uh, the last one is when your aunt tags you on Facebook publications or memes. My aunt. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I would use. Oh my God, where is it? Okay, I think I think this would be, like, ironically because this is like literally what I would reply to my aunt if she tagged me in something. Like, I'd just be like, you know, I'd just be like, yay, and Yeah, I you think know? I would do... i try to hype her up on her Instagram. I would do this one. Like, the... Uh -huh. I don't know. Some people think it's smiling. Some people think it's, like, teasing. But, like, oh. for me, it's, like, super awkward. Like, ugh. It's, like... It's like, like <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like friends. I would do this one. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I use that one too much. <laughs> like, woo. I'm so quirky. I'm so funny. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, that's the I'm so quirky emoji. Well, guys, I'm afraid that this is all the time that we have left. I really don't want this to end. I'm having such a good time right now. So, uh, thank you so much for a very, very special guest. Thank you, Lilamar. Thank you, Danielle. And thank you, Kendall, for being here with us. And um, to all that you are at home, uh, well, I hope that you have. Uh, amazing days. <laughs> Please be careful. Wash your hands also. <laughs> and uh, do you have any words of wisdom or special messages for uh, well before we say goodbye? I've been seeing a lot uh, of stuff saying like, you know, this is not, this, it's not like a, a productivity contest, um, which I, which I agree with. I think it's right now is a perfect time because everything that's going on is kind of uh, either sad or maybe a little scary or whatever. It's a good time to have fun. Um, and I think it's also a good time. We talked about hobbies. I think it's a good time to take up a new hobby. I think it's perfect actually, you know? Yeah. I think it's cool to suck at yeah, new things learn. and then get better yeah. at them. You know what I mean? Give yourself that a little ego check and kind of be like, okay, I don't have to be perfect at everything. I'm just gonna, I have this space, this bunch of time where I can just try out new things, learn new things. It's not even about how productive I'm being and how I'm using my, my time. It's more so like, you know, how can I challenge myself? How much stuff can I learn? Like what goofy things could I do? What can I challenge myself in some way? I think it's just kind of, I think it's a really good time for like self-reflection and just figuring out things that you like, you wanna do, checking stuff off your list. As much as you can, you know, in a safe way, but you know, yeah, I feel out. like it's, 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 you know, again, with the, the thing I was saying earlier about like not taking things too seriously, it's like, you know, we're in quarantine and it's kind of hard to not freak out about like your life and feeling like, oh my God, there's so many things I should be doing or whatever, but it's like, but there really isn't like, all you have is this moment right now and whatever you do with it, just make sure that it makes you feel good. And sometimes freaking out about all the things you need to be productive with where, where you literally can't because everything's like shut down. It's just, 
not going to make you feel good. And when you don't feel good, you don't attract good into your life. So, you know, practice feeling good, chill out, relax. And uh, yeah, take a new hobby, do something fun, do something different. Um, I, and I think that's a super cool idea. The photo shoot thing, I'm stealing that from you. Just letting Yay! you know. I'm about to make some pictures. You know? I am so about to stop y'all's yeah. Instagrams, just seeing all your cool <laughs> pictures, all your new nice. home photo shoots and all of Kendall's <laughs> camping adventures. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, have a nice day. Keep learning new things. <laughs> Keep yes. enjoying this time. And, uh, well, you, uh, gracias a todos los que están conectados por aquí. Eh, recuerden que pueden volver a ver este especial de Nick en casa en todas las redes de Nickelodeon. Eh, y pues los amo con todo mi ser. Thank you so much. And bye bye. <laughs> Adiós Thank a todos. Thank you. Los quiero. Bye. Nos vemos Thank el próximo jueves de Nick, en casa. de Nick en casa. Bye. Chao.